I think there is a polarization. I th um, the, there is what has what what was the key development in Turkish politics, uh, and I'm basing this on survey evidence by uh, top some top uh, Turkish academics like Ersin Kalajoğlu, Ali Çarkoğlu, uh, and, and so on. The, in, in the mid 1990s, what happened in Turkey was that there was a big shift in Turkish politics away from the center towards the right and towards the left, and the center ground shrunk. That has been pretty much the continued uh, pattern of Turkish politics. And the demilitarization process that has taken place in Turkey recently has reinforced this polarization rather than bridged the gaps. Uh, in Egypt, on the other hand, because of its different circumstances, completely different history than uh, Turkey, you don't find that polarization. For example, a religious, can, a religious person in Turkey can easily vote for a, a left-wing person who promises uh, higher wages, salaries, more social benefits, etc. In Turkey's case, uh, uh, in Turkey's case, uh, religious people tend to vote for the AKP. In Egypt's case, I think what we found in the last elections was uh, that the uh, religious people can easily vote for left or right. Thank you. Okay. Um, the next question is that. Let me before we go any further. I, I, the other thing I want to say is, if you could address your questions to individual panelists, that I think would be useful. And I'd like to, you know, call the expertise of all the panelists. So just some one, that would be great. Um, and the second question is that. Thank you very much, uh, Neil Patrick, um, associate of the London School of Economics Golf Studies Program. Uh, I don't really know where to direct my question because it's a subject that hasn't really come up yet. So whoever feels like picking it up. Um, Turkey's relationship with the Gulf Arab states, states that traditionally have not had strong militaries and whose Islamist forces are generally statized, so not fitting with the caricature of the other Arab states that we've heard today. Um, how you view uh, the Turkish model in relation to those countries, um, and how much in particular do, does the Turkish government take into consideration Saudi Arabia's views when it comes to emergent changes in a country like Syria and the strengths potentially of the Muslim Brotherhood, which the Gulf states generally have been extremely wary of. Thank you. Actually, you know, in terms of uh, the second uh, demonstrative effect of uh, Turkey's uh, recent experience, which is the economic uh, dynamism and entrepreneurial culture, uh, United Emirates, for instance, is in the trade volume of $4.2 you know, billion. There is increasing economic relations with Qatar, Oman, and so on and so forth. But nevertheless, uh, after 2009 and 10, there is kind of a little decline because of the world economic uh, crisis. So, so in this sense, uh, economically speaking, uh, after uh, you know, Egypt, uh, Iraq, uh, and Syria, uh, the, the Emirates and then the Gulf uh, is second uh, you know, trade partner for, for Turkey. But, but uh, of course, your question implies the political aspect too. And one of the things that we were kind of worry about and, and that we discuss in the context of the Arab Spring is increasing uh, you know, visibility of the alliance between Turkey and Qatar and Saudi Arabia, especially in the context of the Syrian uh, question. And, and, and this might actually might have a negative impact on, on, the, on the sort of other uh, polarizations, you know, Sunni Shiite polarization in, in, in the Middle East. But, but nevertheless, uh, uh, Taha might actually has uh, things to say about this, but the way that I see it, Turkey's uh, approach to uh, uh, Arab Spring uh, it is much more a general regional level, and then they, they, they increase uh, their regional engagements with all the countries there, and then uh, solve the problems uh, regionally speaking, rather than you know, sort of a, in terms of the sectarian relations, or and, and, and then they know that if, of course. If, 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 if there is a sectarian split in, in the Middle East, and that becomes a quite an important risky factor that will reflect back on you know, 